Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today, guys, I want to go over installing Exchange 2010 on server 2012. So, first thing that you need to do is, like always, you build your server and you push out all the Windows updates. If you've been following me on a lot of these videos, I normally don't do that because, again, it's it's you know it's a testing environment. But uh, there's two things that you guys really do need to download and install on your server box. Uh, you need to get your Microsoft Office 2010 filter packs. And as well as download the service pack 1 for your Microsoft Office fil filter pack 2010 64-bit edition. Okay, I will place these two links at the bottom of the description. Okay, so let's install it I'm gonna install these bad boys and uh, I already have a share with this uh, files that I need as well as a reg file that we need to push out later on I will also place the public link so you guys can retrieve this reg because if you don't have this reg you're gonna have problems as well as I want to show you guys an error that you will receive if you don't do something so let's let's do it so let's do the filter pack first the filter pack and the service pack normally doesn't take as long as you would think it's really quick and hit next I accept hit next and it's done see real fast then we need to push out the service pack we're gonna run that accept that continue and we're good now we also gotta run this reg so we're gonna actually merge it hit run okay it and good again I will place the two links for you guys to download these two files and this reg I will zip it and uh, give you a public link in my Dropbox so you guys could retrieve it now I already have um, Exchange 2010 I already have the CD in it so I'm gonna run it install and run oh a matter of fact yeah I was gonna receive this error sorry guys yeah you're gonna receive this error because you haven't downloaded or installed the prerequisites for the machine for server to uh, for exchange 2010 to run correctly so rather than going to server manager I'm gonna close this and installing all the roles and features that you need I am going to use PowerShell I'm a huge PowerShell person so I'm gonna right click run it as an administrator and again uh, if you guys have been following me I am a huge note taker so if you guys do need these notes please let me know a matter of fact don't even let me know I'm just gonna place it in a public uh, link at the bottom of the description so you guys can enjoy it I'm gonna paste this command which is gonna add all the features that I need It's gonna add dot uh, net is gonna add web status content web requests all the web stuff that I need as well as the dot net stuff and then I'm gonna hit enter now what I've seen this installation normally stops in 68% and you would think the machine is frozen do not think that do not panic guys I just want you to understand that it's normal It's doing this thing is that you're actually pushing out a lot of things on the machine so when it gets stuck on 68% don't freak out go get a cup of coffee go relax and just ch take a chill pill and eventually when you come back you're good to go okay so once all your roles and your features are installed uh, you can restart your machine and um, continue with the installation. I'm not going to restart my machine, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my Exchange 2010 um, installation. So I'm going to exit out of PowerShell. And let's start my installation, guys. Install it. As you can see, step one and two is already completed. Awesome. I need to choose uh, an exchange language option. So I'm going to install only languages from the DVD. And let's do step four. Install Microsoft Exchange. Okay, so from here, you can read the introduction. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to accept the license agreement. Hit next. Don't really want any error reporting. Hit next. The installation type, I'm going to do a typical exchange service installation now a lot of people like to do this they like to check automatically install windows 
server roles and features required for the exchange. I'm going to do this, but I want I want to show you guys what will really happen when you have this checked off. So let's hit next. Uh, give your organization a name. So I'm going to give it, you know, BJ Tech News. And if you want to apply the Active Directory split permission security model to the exchange organization, I'm not going to do this. Again, this is for testing only. But uh, it's something that you guys can really look into uh, for more of a production environment. Hit next. Client settings. Again, this is only for testing, just to test stuff out, just to play around. But more of a production, most likely you probably do have Outlook 2003 users still out there. You shouldn't have any Outlook 2003 users out there. Uh, you should upgrade them to 2007 or 2010 or 2013. Let's hit next on that, but no. Uh, I'm not going to configure anything because I'm not going to have any active sync or exchange or uh, OWA which stands for for Outlook web apps I'm, or Outlook anywhere I'm not gonna have any configuration with that stuff so I'm gonna hit next uh, I don't want to join the program at this time hit next and hopefully it's gonna error out because I want you, I want to show you guys yes this is what I wanted to show you guys for some reason when we check that option to do the automatically updates you're gonna receive this crazy little error I don't know why you're gonna receive this error so I have to wait until it's completely done with the readiness check so I could go fix it which is already done so I'm gonna go back go back a couple of times until you get to this portion right here uncheck it hit next hit next Hit next again and it passes, which is pretty strange, right? And from here again, go get a cup of coffee, you know, go go do something. Uh, cause it normally takes a while. Actually it doesn't really take a, that much for the readiness check, but it's ready to install. And then I'm gonna click on install, and this is where you go get your cup of coffee. And we're back, guys. So <laughs> if everything goes well, you should get all these nice little green check marks and uh, if you want to start your exchange management console just have that checked off and hit finish and that's about it guys I, I need to do a reboot <laughs> uh, most likely I need to reboot my server for it to take all the changes that I made which is pretty awesome uh, it's right now it's deleting all the temp which is cool I'm gonna close this so okay, yeah. Starting recommending you get the latest critical updates. Yeah, I understand. So I gotta update. You gotta update your Exchange server. So make sure you exchange you update your Exchange server and reboot your server. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video on installing Exchange 2010 on Server 2012. Please leave comments as well as uh, please give me thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please uh, go to my Twitter feed uh, at BJ Tech News as well as my Facebook. Show some love at facebook.com forward slash BJ Tech News. And at the bottom of the description, you will get all the notes as well as all the links that you need to get yourself up and running as well as uh, you guys can check out my blog site and my tech photo. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.